Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Mojang just released Minecraft Snapshot 1.12 pre-release 1, so this is now very close to the release of 1.12, but with this pre-release comes a huge change once again to how commands are going to be run, so please do disregard a lot of the last videos that I made on how commands are going to be working, because in 1.12, it's a lot easier now, but they've changed it once again, so please Mojang, I don't know why you're messing with us, why are you doing this to us map makers? Here is a quick tutorial on how the new functions system is going to work and why it's a lot easier for you guys to get into now. You just have to type in lines of commands. So let's do a quick run through of what has changed. So this is just a demonstration of the Fireball concept that I created in the live stream recently. So let's just do that and let's click the fishing rod and the mountain will spawn. So while that happens, let me just quickly explain. Advancements are now pretty much gone. You don't need advancements as much anymore, and there are two new commands that come with this pre-release. The first one is slash function, which is just going to run a set of commands that you have written outside of Minecraft, so that's the first thing. But don't worry too much about this command, it's this one that you really want. Game loop function, and then the name of the function you want. Let's just preface this first of all. Remember this? The one that I've looped is folder colon main. And what this does is it basically runs this function 20 times a second or once per tick. You can only do one right now. That's my uh, presumption. I cannot seem to get more than one function to run, but you don't really need more than one because what you can do is do the slash function command, which is going to run another function and put all of those in this loop. Think about this for a moment. If you want a lot of commands to run, simply bunch them all up in this single function, folder colon main. Let's put a face to this. Let's hop over to the functions and let's see how this all works out. So I've hopped back over to my test world folder. You don't really need this folder anymore. This advancements thing, this is for more complex systems, but if you just want to create a simple command clock, let's just go over to the functions and you need to create a folder just like the advancements you need to create your own folder. Uh, this is just like a tree. So if you wanna combine some concepts together in a group, just create a folder. I just named it with folder. You can name it anything you want. Um, but this is important for the name. Inside here, I have a main and I have the fireball explosion concept. Now let's go over to the main. This is the one I've looped. Remember that. This is gonna run 20 times a second. Function, folder, colon, fireball explosion. This concept will now run 20 times a second. And let's go over here. These are all text files, by the way. These are not JSON. And have a look. All you need to do is run from a server. Remember this. This is run from a server. Not from the player anymore. These are going to run one after the other in a single command. Uh, this is like a command chain. And these will all run in order. And notice how I'm not using slash s anymore. Because this is going to be run from a server. If you do slash s, it's going to target the server, which makes no sense. You want to target players. So basically, all I've done here is I've put at p. Um, this is a problem, of course, for multiplayer servers. At a and give individual scores. This is going to be a lot more complicated. Let's just recap. The main file is going to run this function 20 times a second because this is going to be run 20 times a second by the game rule. Not much has changed. But a lot has changed. Conceptually speaking, a lot of the files you're going to have to move over, it's just copying and pasting now. Um, advancements, you don't need an advancement to run a clock because the trigger has disappeared. You don't have the arbitrary player tick trigger anymore. You still have the tick trigger, not going to be the best option for you. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Advancements, thing of the past. In most cases, you now have functions. Mo Yang, please don't change this anymore. A lot of map makers are a little bit frustrated, although a better understanding of the fact that these are snapshots would have informed them a little bit better. But I know this has had a big impact already from a lot of the reactions I've seen. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you guys found this useful and just make sure you make the switch to functions, data slash functions folder instead of the advancements folder. And these are all text files, so you don't need the JSON stuff anymore. Just type them in one at a time like so. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more creative content and take care.